in in a family the youngest son came to the father with this real estate guys and told the father look dad i wanted your this property i brought the people to sell the property and i wanted you to sign it up we are going to build a massive big apartment and uh, i wanted to have the money for my business also the father and mother told the son look when before i married your mother father told the son before i married your mother i purchased it with my hard labor then i saw her i brought her over here then she became pregnant you as a child grown you were playing in this room and that room and that room and this room all those memories money was not important allow us to die after we die you take the property sons are nothing doing tomorrow they're coming to demolish you are coming with me you have taken a rented house we are going and staying there and i will take care of you the same when ashok was the home minister the elders elder citizens told ashok please do not widen the road please do not widen because these are the houses i stayed with my wife so many years with my children grown up they are all got to america i have so many do not demolish do not widen the road so that time i was giving lectures in satsang and sanskar tv so i told the home minister ashok please do not please do not widen the road for for you to widen your bank money and i know ashok was acting like a emperor ashok and he next day i heard there was a, a news in the newspaper telling uh, home minister ashok said we are not going to widen that was very big hearted but this boy refused next day morning he came with the bulldozers with the with the real estate buyer but he saw the door was locked and he went and knocked the door it was not opened they broke open the door and they saw the father and mother hanged this is the situation then he resumed his recitation little while afterward he stopped and called don't take it all i need some to pay taxes with tomorrow when the thief took everything and was going the master said to the student do not take all that keep something some some samskriti some discipline you come to the factory from the school you come to the factory together we should build up this economy but you are all acting employees all acting like a thief you got your unions and union leaders and everybody disturbs how i'm going to double and triple and after some time the employees also become thieves because when nobody is listening they also become thieves it is a, it has become a mad house sometimes i think even uh, how we i am going to even sort out this problem little while afterwards he stopped and called don't take it all i need some to pay taxes with tomorrow there's yes. leave some 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 of your culture back you all studied here you all go out don't be a thief by going around and telling rakum gurji is bad rakum school is bad and there was even a senior most student who 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 was a supreme leader of our school her father brought the son and the daughter they all completed their degree post graduation and they were telling me please guruji don't tell anybody that we studied in your school because my husband's people my wife's people they do not they do not want to know that i studied in a free school <laughs> don't take it all i need some to pay taxes at least some respect leave it back for us for the hard labor we spent that we are not even expecting i think so the intruder gathered up most of the money and they started to leave thank a person when you receive a gift sichiri added so the teacher was very strong so teacher said no, no i will not give up at least thank me for teaching if your husband and your husband's family and your wife's family do not want to know that you studied in rakum school at least say thanks for what you have studied over here for you to speak this good english you have become a good leader from the school so many things have been taught yoga karate music dance so many you are in finance department everything 
Don't tell this rubbish because your father made a little money and then spitting, no, 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 that spit will fall back into your family. Don't take the shapa. But the master was not wanting to tell all this thing. Master said, say at least thank you. <laughs> Interview to gathered up most of the money and started to leave. Thank a person when you receive a gift, Shichiro added. The man thanked him and made off. At least he thanked. Means at least he felt, yes. Little of what you learned from Rakum school, I must put into practice. A few days later, afterwards, the fellow was caught and confessed, and among other things, the offense against Shichiri. Policeman caught him out some days for other crimes, and that in that crimes, he told that he has done this to Shichiri also. <laughs> yes, one teacher, one Kannada teacher came and joined us and then within 20 days he leaves the school and he goes and abuses our Indranagar teachers, shouts, screams, lady teachers using bad languages, go to the Indranagar police and complain, police calls. Indranagar police has got the guts to call our teachers to police, can you believe? And when we allowed, when we, ch uh, ch when we checked it up, investigated, this boy has got a habit of going to all the schools 20 days, 10 days, going there, working, disturbing the girls, disturbing the ladies. He, he should not be respected, he should be treated, <laughs> yes. Offense in Shichiri was called as a witness. He said, this man is no thief. When the police brought this thief to the Shichiri, he said, he is no thief, he is not taken and this man is no thief at least as far as I am concerned I gave him the money and he thanked me for it at least he thanked at least be thankful <laughs> be thankful teachers and students and the people yes here the, the Sichiri the master said at least thank yes thank me that is enough that thank you that Sumi must say excuse me thank you Arigatou gozaimasu that is very, very important. Excuse me, I'm sorry and thank you. These are the three things we have in our life. We become so beautiful otherwise. Even everybody lives like a thief and points every, to everybody thinking they are the thieves. We have to come out of the thieving life. It has become a thieving world. Thieves everywhere, backstabbers everywhere. Yes. It is not anybody's fault. It is the fault of the doctors who are going for the surgery. They left all the Weapons, <laughs> their gun, AK-47 rifles and all, inside the stomach and stitched it back. It's, and they went back, <laughs> the patient was screaming. They took the scanning and they found guns. <laughs> they are taking surgeons going. So I told the surgeons, before you go to operate, please sit in meditation for some time. I gave him the money and he thanked me for it. After he had finished his prison term, the man went to Sachin and became a disciple. Be thankful, yes. So, if at least you can connect back and when they become a teacher, they realize, yes, what has happened over here, it is a circle that what stupidity you did, you couldn't listen to others. Now your wife, your husband is not listening. Your students, when you become a teacher, they are not listening. It becomes very difficult. Practice the Sanskriti. Go back to the house, sit next to the wife and husband. Family sits together, used to praise to ghost together. Together we can make this world a better place to live.